What's up guys, I'm NF Gaming, and welcome to MotoGP 14 Career Mode. This will be a live commentated series, although this bit isn't. I'll hand over to my own live commentary a little bit later. But uh, I'm going to put all the wildcard races into this episode, and then the next episode, that will be the start of my full Moto3 career with a full season. And it's going to be at, like, La Salle in Qatar, and it's going to be one race per episode from then on. So now I'm going to hand over to myself. Hello everyone, and welcome to MotoGP 14. Oh my god, I've been waiting so long for this game, I'm so happy. And what is going on, it should be accepting my controller. Uh, just gonna set up my controller, hope that it all works, if it doesn't welcome. then whatever. Before oh, shut up. You uh, escape. Uh, riding license, here we go. Let's... Really? There's only that... Wow! I will go with the average looking ginger kid. Uh, let's go with my real name. Not Sam Player, although I'd love it to be. Uh, it's my last name, as you all now know. <laughs> Car is my, is my abbreviation. I'll put my age down to minimum 16, which I will be in August, so, you know. I am not from Italy. I am from the United Kingdom. Let's select that. Great Britain. Racing number. I think i go with... I was thinking 60. I had 16 before. I can't have 21 anymore, which is the number I always use. So I have to change that around. Uh, 47 of 50, possibly. 66... Uh, there's a lot of nice new numbers that you can have. I might go 75. Uh, every, every, I think everyone's going to go for 18, so... I'll go 48, which is what Jorge Lorenzo used to have. Let's go different font style. They've got more font styles this year. So I think go with that one. That looks quite nice. Uh, let's go yellow for our colour, as I always do. Uh, lemon. Lemon colour. That looks nice. Uh, there we go. Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, there we go. Uh, riding gear. Helmet. Let's have a nice yellow helmet. Uh, let's just go with that. Or, go with a nice green helmet. And the boots go with the yellow ones. Uh, there's only like lemon e ones. I think those are. Uh, gloves. Let's go with the, the ones with more black on them. Nickname. My nickname is going to be. N F F Game. Wow, you can have N F Game in. So let's have. NFG 48. 48. Not dollar sign 8. Ooh. Let's just go Sam. Yeah, why not? Uh, style. Style 4. Let's have a look at style 4. Style 4 looks cool, though. Yeah, let's go with that. Go red with that, or scarlet, whatever. Yeah, I'll stick with scarlet. Press escape. After this, I will set up all my uh, everything like the controller. Uh, I'm gonna get my elbows to the ground, but shoulders out looks really cool. So I think um, it's between these two. I think I got elbows to the ground, which is like what like Stefan Bradl does. He's like my favourite riding style. I have everyone, it's ridiculous how much lean angle he gets. It's probably more than Mark Marquez, to be honest. So, confirm and start. Let's do this. Okay, so we're back in the garage for uh, MotoGP 14 career mode. <laughs> I'm in for the race, and hopefully it won't crash again. Um, I'm going to say that it's under steering. And there we go. Just to get a little bit of... 
better corner entry because that's really my problem right now. And I'm starting down in, is it 12th? I think it's 12th. So uh, let's get this show on the road. It's wet again for the race. Lights out and away we go here in Bruno for my first ever MotoGP 14 career mode race. Got a pretty good start, not like uh, MotoGP 13 at all. I always did so badly at starting in there. I always drop back so much and then just dive bombed at the first corner, but doing quite well here. Managed to get up into P10 and then I'm pretty fast on the straight as well, or onto the straight at least. I'm not sure how I'll do uh, midway down into the next corner. Not too bad. Oh, I've lost it. I'm down. That is really unforgiving. So, uh, just got to be really careful in the wet now. Can just snap out from underneath you. Didn't do that at all in 13. It was just like the dry but a bit slower. Physics were exactly the same. Is this game better than 13? Yes, definitely. By quite a reasonable margin. Still in P11 here. I want to get up into P10. Top 10 would be very nice. I'm already in the points, remember, because points are from P15 in MotoGP. You get one point for 15th. Then up to something like 7th, I think it is, you uh, you get one point every position. So, let's try and get past bad Brad Binder here. Try and get a slipstream and then just break later than him. There we go. Making the apex comfortably. Nice to know that I can break that distance all the time now. And like I said, I don't like this track. Especially that corner. But, uh, I'm getting a nice gap to Brad Binder here. Gonna take a nice wide line into this left hander. Try and get a nice swooping line into the right hander after it as well. Gonna be able to do that. Binder hitting me. Trying to go for the move to get past again. Fanati setting the fastest lap, but that's not that's not very nice from Brad Binder. Bastianini going past me. I'm trying to go around the outside of both of them. But just not be able not able to get the grip there. I've actually lost positions from my starting position now. Down to 14th. Let's try and get these two on the straight. Io and Tanucci. It's tucked in behind Tanucci there. Oh, and who's that? I don't know who that is behind me. Him. Hanukkah. Got on the inside of Io and Tanucci again now. Now Bastianini and Binder to worry about. But Io and Hanukkah both going back up the inside of me. This AI, the AI in this game are really, really aggressive. And they crash all the time as well. But I'd say that's accurate for the Moto3 class. And Tanucci going the inside. Stop it! Drop down to 15th now. Looking behind him. Doesn't know that there's a really pissed off British guy behind him. a nice run out of here, I had to let off the gas again a bit, but uh, I've got a feeling that, I can't remember, is that Tanucci? I'm not even sure. It's going to go up the inside as Miller and Fanati dies for the win, as they always do in real life. Got all these moves happening in front of me, that would give me a chance to uh, make up some positions. See how fast I can go without getting dive-bombed. Got one lap to go at the end of this lap. It's uh, not the uh, greatest of races, I have to admit. But it is my second ever Moto3 race. My first on Korea. Try and slipstream IO down the home straight.
We get hopefully a nice run out of turn one and then through turn two. Yes, hopefully going to get a slipstream on IO. Looks like the rain is gone. Rain's completely gone. It's, almost, it's pretty much a dry track now. Nice to see the dynamic weather. A little bit of spray as we go into the corner, but definitely less than there was at the start of the race. Lovely dynamic weather. Well, that wasn't in MotoGP 13 at all. It was the least dynamic weather system ever. But uh, I've got, still got someone behind me. That's Tanucci. Still got Binder and Io and whatever battling up ahead of me. It's Hanukkah and Bastianini. Keep overtaking each other. But I want to get past Io, that's my objective now. Get past Io. Oh dear. I don't think that's going to happen now, after that mistake. Now I've got five rewinds, but I think I'm past the point now. Again, just feathering the throttle, that loses you so much time, and now I've got someone behind me again. Yeah, definitely not going to get up into P13, but P14, that's two points. Not bad. That's if we can keep it, actually. Got a very warm rear tyre as well. Oh no, I think I might get overtaken. Will I get overtaken out of the final corner? That is a question. No, I will not. But yeah, P14, that's not bad for my first ever race uh, in career mode. I'm happy with that. Well... I say I'm happy. I'm not really. I prefer the top ten, but uh, those guys were just too quick for me. And how far behind the leader was I? Ten seconds. That's uh, just over three seconds a lap. So, not a great uh, lap time there. And then you've got the rest of the grid, which are coming out in DLC later on this year, I believe. So, it was supposed to be day one DLC, but I don't, I don't think it is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of MotoGP 14 Career Mode. More tomorrow, hopefully, and I will see you next time. I'm Nenef Gavin. I'll see you soon. Peace. So uh, as we go into the race, not holding very high hopes. I don't think I'll get any points, to be honest. Um, I think I got something like 15th in Bruno. I'm not sure. Go back and tell me. But... Uh, yeah, not holding up very high hopes at all. So uh, let's get into the race, see what happens. Starting from P16. Let's have a go, shall we? And the lights are on. And lights out, away we go here at Valencia. Getting a pretty good start, popping a little bit of a wheelie there. That might have just been the gear change, actually. But uh, not losing too much time. There's my teammate, Matteo Ferrari. Oh no, it's my, uh, yeah, it's my teammate. He's also my rival. He run quite wide through there. But still keep him up, pe keeping up with everyone. Gonna try and oh dear. Oh dear. Breaking way later than everyone else through there. I do that a lot in F... Oh dear. I do that a lot in uh, Formula 1 as well. So if we just rewind all the way back to here. There we go. And then just go up the inside instead. I'm on the grass. Bit of warning there. I hope that goes away because if that stays there, that'll be annoying because it did that last game. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's going to stay there. That warning. So, uh, not doing too well so far, still in P14. Good try and dive inside of a few of these guys. That warning is going to stay there, isn't it? Oh well. Got to live with it. As Nicholas Io comes past us, we're gonna stick it up the inside. I believe we are. We're battling with exactly the same guys we were battling with last race, but Tanucci comes through this time, so that's even worse than we were. Let's go back up the inside of Io. We go really running out wide, so let's try and do uh, better than we did last race and go. Past Binder. 
Here we go. Remember, I was about the same pace as the AI through the last sector, 2.5 now. About two tenths slower than first place, so I'm quite fast in this sector. There we go. And past literally everyone. So, uh, see so what we can do through the first corner. As somebody comes past me, who is that? Bastianini. We're on the limiter now. Isaac Vinales sets the fastest lap as we run a little bit wide, but at least we're making up a lot of time on these people ahead of us and Carl Haneke. Eric Granado with P11, which is really good for uh, the bike that we're on. Again, struggling though. Yeah, wow, right through penalty. Uh, just trying to avoid doing that this time. There we go, avoided doing it, but lost quite a bit of time. Riding on the curbs, on the painted curbs, that would lose your grip, but it's a video game. Missed the big sausage curb there, but uh, still sliding out of there, I shouldn't really be doing that. It's not going to do the tyres any favours, I mean look, they're quite hot the tyres are, so it's not good. This is where I'm a little bit faster through the, uh, the first and third sectors, especially when Nini comes past again. Let's try and get past somebody, Granada. He's still battling with Bastion, he's really not giving up, is he? Down to P12. We come through the second to last corner. We're tucked in, nobody else is. There we go. Nice line through there. Try and get past Granado. As Miller sets the fastest lap, we're going to be nowhere near that. I think we've gone faster than our qualifying time, or something around that time. 141.2. So catching up with Granado, we're going to run wide. That's going to lose us time. Come back onto the track. Gaining massively on Granado now. But again, everyone's going to pull away from me in the second sector. And I'm down, I knew that would happen as soon as I hit those brakes. Just trying to make up as much time as possible on uh, Granado. At least I'm ahead of Bastianini still, he's not really challenging me. It's quite close, but at least he's not making any moves this time. Really making the most of the track limits and even gone beyond them there. Didn't mean to do that. Here comes Bastianini again. Don't, please don't do that. He sits up as well, which really ruined my line through the whole section. There's Miller and Fanati once again dicing for the win. On the final lap, Bastianini got the inside again. Really going to try and defend from him now. As I run wide, he's going to have a go up the inside, is he? Yes, he is. Okay, I've got to get him at this uh, final three corners. Here we go. Let's try to get him. There we go, nice and easy. Up the inside, and then break nice and late for this corner, but not too late. Like that. Oh dear. There we go. Gain loads on Granado, but still not going to be able to get past P11. We might lose P12. Will we lose P12? No, we won't. It's a nice P11 for me on uh, my second race in Moto3 World Card. And uh, let's see what we can do for next season, what kind of contract we can get. I couldn't care less. I'm 11th. That's all I care about. Uh, Gaining quite a lot of fans up to 13,741. So let's see what we can get for next season. Teams ready to offer you a contract. Okay, I, I don't care. Um, let's go for well, let's go for this one. Is this Moto 2? That is not Moto 2. Let's go for Team Io. Let's sign for them, and I will see you in the next episode racing for this team. I am uh, I am very very happy. 
with that result and with this new contract. So I'll see you next time. I've been NF Gaming. I'll see you soon. Peace.